Welcome Barber and Esports fans. We've got ourselves once again an Overwatch match. We today are going to be looking at Barberton versus Avon High School. Avon is a pretty uh, pretty decent team from what I've heard. You know, this is our first time playing them. It's their first time in the league, but they, they have uh, a decent record so far. So this is very much a make or break moment for Barberton. A lot of players uh, kind of trying their best to get ready for the match here. Interested seeing the uh, Zarya on both teams here, um, right out of the gates. Yeah, Barberton, uh, I know uh, Captain Alec Wietrich really felt that Zarya is kind of one of the strongest tanks right now in the meta because uh, if the other team brings out a D.Va, uh, that can't eat the laser. Absolutely. A bit of skirmishing here in center, right on the point. Ooh, the disruption field catches uh, Brenda there briefly, forces out the nade to keep him up there. They really want to get this Zarya. Oh, Brendo picked there. Down. Alex, is he going to get out? I know. Uh, he... No personal, and he does go Ooh. down there. First cap goes to Avon. Slowly yeah. pushing in. I know uh, Brendo was bummed. He, he, he was like, yeah, I got I got diffed by the wall. So he walked into some geometry there on his retreat. Three of Barberton do manage to get out there. Sunwolf barely managing to... Oh, he eventually does go down. This is a little bit rough here now. Uh, it is 4v5 trying to push back into this. Yeah... They're trying to play the, these corners a little bit here. They've got the high ground, so this is a, I feel like this is a very difficult point to push out of all of the, the, the... I think the first part of push is the most difficult here. On I think so, map. too. Uh, Avon, even with a numbers advantage, is only really going to push it right up into the bridge, and Barberton has had enough time to get some look back in the fight, so they're going to be able to re-engage here. We'll go for the Genji in the back. Now there's a Genji fight going in the back. Nice pick on the Huge support. Huge pick on the Ana. The trade on is actually still uh, brawling here. Yeah, and they lost the Zen on uh, Avon, so this should be a cleanup for Barberton Excellent here. Excellent focus fire on Cheesy there from Barberton. Only uh, Z track still on the point, and this is going to go in favor of Barberton. And they, uh, Brendo picked off the uh, others, uh, Genji as well there. So the, honestly, really solid fight there. Good priority. You know, tank tanks are for last. They're a little snack for later. Getting a few pot shots here with the uh, the double sniper support system from uh, Avon here. Looks like they are up on two ultimates right now. Barberton only really has Rush right now, so it, it is Avon's fight to take here. Let's see how they push in. Yeah, Zens can be really powerful if they can get their shots off, and so we'll see if this Zen pays off, but they can be punished as well. Ooh, grab. grab goes out. Uh, it catches two, but ends up trading. Uh, Avon coming ahead one kill here. Without a tank, though, I feel like they're going to really struggle for Barberton to take space in this fight. Agreed. Interesting that the Transcendence came out from the uh, the Avon there, but they do end up cleaning up the fight and pushing it back. Committed a few ultimates here. Barberton now sitting on five ultimates. Yeah, I remember the team in the uh, for the match they had said that they felt like if they committed one ult there, they might have been swinging back, and so they're, they're trying to be more disciplined now, hopefully realizing, oh, we've got alt economy, we, we should use it. What's the point of an economy? To spend some money. Sleepless Kate taking a good angle right up, up and over top of them, forcing out some abilities early. Drops Here down. comes the blade and the graviton, focusing down the tank. Interestingly, enough. yeah, I think they should probably go for that Eventually support first. Down. Good kill onto the uh, the Ana in the back line there as well. Slow cleanup here for the rest of the uh, Barberton. Kind of well, staggering them, out. maybe. I I don't think he oh, decides he to die, up. which is the right Smart. choice there. Honestly, he was surprised that they didn't kill him faster. Almost. <laughs> Switching off to a Winston here to try and recontest instead of the Zarya. I feel like Winston's pretty strong here because you can get those knockoffs uh, if they get up close to the point. I think in a direct tank battle, uh, Zarya, if she's full charge, might have the upper hand here. With a rush going out, soldier ult out from Sunwolf as well. Quick kill on to one of their DPS and their support. Barbadin coming in and cleaning everything up. Monkey in the back line getting finished. They're pushing back to the point. Or, uh, sorry, to the spawn, rather, there. Team kill, Barberton collecting push time. Keep it only... Now, what's interesting here is mm. that they're going to have to fight Dry coming up uh, against Avon's next push in here. Um, they do have Nanoblade, so it'll be about denying Avon's push. Um, Monkey diving straight in, uh, almost thinking out Sunwolf, for forcing out quite a few of the support abilities. Look at this Monkey here. Ooh. Going deep. There's the Blade, and the, uh, the Nano comes out. They end up trading, actually. Uh, the Ana goes down... For Barberton and for Avon. Brendo, one HP, Warrior goes down. I think that And it, they decide to jump off the cliff to reset the fight. This is my feeling. I think they're gonna I think we're gonna see a swap here in a minute onto a different hero out of Brendo, either this fight or the next one. Uh, I feel like a Genji 
really struggles against the uh, monkey sometimes. Huge sleep onto that Lucio. Doesn't end up getting the elimination there, unfortunately. Oh no, he is stuck. And punished by the geometry. Sunwolf caught out all alone there. Trying to get some damage onto the back line. Bubble to protect him. Nice bubble from Alec there. Taking a 1v1 with the Sojourn. Oh, now it's Heads a 2v1. Get... Gets out. They don't follow up that. Oh, they do. Okay, the Sojourn finishes in the back line. Sleepless barely able to contest point Ooh, here. They are trying Staying to alive. stop this forward spawn from happening, but unfortunately, I think... Yep, there it is. Crosses the finish line. Yi caught out. Well, he does have the rest of his team here, but there's no tank um, from Barberton right now. They got the bad spawns, but they're pushing it anyway. They managed to get uh, Cheesy right away. The Lucy tries to get the other finish there. Blade comes off, but it's it's too far up. There's no support to follow that. Avon just turned and, and said, hey, need ultimate. <laughs> Absolutely. But it looks like Barberton is still slowly pushing this back here, um, even with the drop of the blade. Taking down both uh, oh. Sport and DPS. Losing Yi, unfortunately, but it still looks like it's a, a winning fight for Barberton. Yeah, absolutely. That monkey should be dead by now, though. I'm hoping they can get the finish here. Will Asteria walk this one off? No, but the monkey's down, too. So I think Barberton's just going to take some space here, get everyone back. The uh, enemy team Avon, though, has the forward spawns, I believe, right? They do also have um, Beat now as well. So they can uh, have a really sustained fight here because we're looking at Barberton coming up on grab and uh, rush here. B would be perfect to shut that down. Uh, Brendo actually goes down uh, from a railgun. The uh, the counter grab, there's the beat. There's, uh, Big purple, it. but I mean, it's just more eating through everything. Correct. Well, the rush comes out from Barberton. Getting the finishes here Taking and there. Oh, dropping the... Uh, Sunwolf goes ooh, down. Loses the, uh, the Death Blossom 2 to a railgun shot. Can they... Sustain through this? Sleepless is in the back line going crazy. Still lasering him down. They're trying to kill. save the tank for last. Ain't going to work when the last tank's sleepless. Brando does make it back to the bike, a fight on the Sojourn just in time. We're going to be 2v1ing against the monkey here. feel like it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Leaps monkey out backs very out. cautiously, as it should be. Back to this fight here. Can Barbie make a further push than previous? They have no ultimate, so they're going to be dry fighting this. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to take some forward space here. I think they decided They're to wait for the rest of the team. Yeah, they said let's let's just wait. Let's wait till everyone's together. Funky monkey, uh, coming up real close there. Cheesy, super low in the back line, can, and he does manage to get back to safety. Playing corners here, very smart from Barberton. Yeah, they're trying to take angles. Some look good now. Nice Suzu comes down too. Excellent. Disruption on cart, and this is a slow fight back. Interesting that the uh, Avon didn't want to commit any ultimates to this fight. Maybe they're trying to save them when they get closer to cart. I don't know. I think they, if they had used one, it would have been a much tougher fight. Absolutely. Uh, Barber sort of slow rolls. Just you know, the tide comes in. What's going to happen for this next fight, though, is the question. Can they get the spawn here? Yeah, looks like they get it. Okay. Let's see. Monkey swinging around up here. Oh! Ooh. Oh, I'm amazing the, recovery uh, there from Brendo. Brendo, absolutely. As the battle for the monkey goes on, there's also a 1v1 between Sojourns on the right hand side. Finishes off with the abilities. Nice cooldown management. Excellent fight from there from Barberton. Forcing out multiple ultimates from uh, Avon and actually having a recovery on that clip there. That was very interesting to see. Yeah, that's got that, that dash is like a pretty big vertical component, apparently. I mean, way way more than you'd think. I, I wouldn't have thought that was recoverable. Avon should be coming up on their Nano Blade here. Here it comes. Ooh, the sleep. Big sleep. sleep. Take a nap. Everyone says, hey, let's have a, a little slumber party over here. Fight's still ongoing. He eventually does go down. Barber is still uh, dry pushing this. And then the rush comes out. Well, the rush came out actually purple. when they, right as they were rotating back to kill the Genji, I think. So they, they wanted to push in, but realized the Genji was a bigger priority to, to cut out of the back line. Their tank? Avon is still uh, trapped back here. Yeah. Uh, Sunwolf gets a finish on the support. Gets the Kiriko off. Now they're up three here, uh, pushing this into last. How is Avon going to stop this? Bar's only got one ult. But, I mean, they should be able to make Omega play off of this. Omega gets caught behind. Avon now realizing that they don't... Oh, look at Sunwolf's TP more. there. And there comes the Death yeah. Blossom to finish out the fight. Excellent job. Omega not quite in time to stop it. Oh, very nice. Good first fight from Barberton and Avon. Yeah, I liked that. I, I actually, 
It's funny because I really think that they had no clue the Reaper was standing there. I mean, I don't know why you would necessarily. If you, I, I, I was kind of thinking where he was TPing to them. Like, oh, they probably don't know he's there. Uh, and they didn't. Only one ult in the being, tank was all that mattered. Ended up being an excellent Death Blossom to guarantee that final fight there. Yeah, I just, you know, I liked that Barbara took the space. I liked it. Even though the, the, the rush came out, they rotated back to that slept Genji. That was a big sleep hit by... Uh, Mikey there on that uh, Ana because I mean if that blade had gone off I think the fight could have gone totally different absolutely and especially so if the Nana would have connected it as well yeah so uh, great first map let's see what we do for the second third fourth fifth however many we need to get to uh, hopefully Barbara can get a quick 3-0 but we'll be back here in a moment all righty we're back on our next round here oops sorry thought we hit the start we were, we were so excited didn't know, didn't know we hadn't hit play yet. So Barberton here is going to be on the offense first on King's Row. Pretty much the map everybody plays. Uh, we were curious if we would see something maybe a little different due to, you know, people liking to try the new maps, mix things up when they're kind of on the back foot. And, you know, once once your first map, depending on how that goes, it can really affect the mentality of, of the gamers as they go into their second round here. But uh, Barberton is very, very familiar with King's Row. Um, pretty confident in their... Uh, uh, rollouts and their defense. I think their defense is usually pretty solid here. We'll see how that pans out next round. For right now, though, we have to see how their offense comes out. What are we thinking of these uh, picks on Barberton? I like seeing the May. Interesting. I do as well here, uh, and the Reinhardt's a, a trusted favorite here even after the changes to Overwatch 1 to Overwatch 2, and seeing the, the Zarya on defense here is a little bit interesting. Sun will um, put some snipes out too. I like that they're using the cover. They, they use all the cover they have. Nice wall. Can they push it off this? Yes. The speed comes out. So he's in there getting some pretty big cleaves. Uh, the lamp comes out early. Uh, and that's, that's only four. Now the Reaper's here. Yeah. One pick there. Another wall up just saying, hey, just sit over there for a while while we generate some time. I think maybe they're trying to go for a quick uh, wall Ooh, up there. Ooh. Huge pin from uh, the Barber and Reinhardt. Caught behind enemy lines. Uh -huh. Yeah, but he splits their attention. The team did not know which way to go there. Discombobulated on Avon Lake. There, Lucio gets picked. There, Jar gets picked. Back. Yep. They needed to either punish the Rhine and swing the fight the and other way. Yeah, get trapped too. This is a very quick roll for Barberton on, on this first point here. Yeah, they're trying to go for more here. They're trying to see if they'll stick around long enough to get killed, and it looks like that might be the case for Avon Lake. Cheesy barely getting out around that corner. We'll probably throw, push this. I throw in the wall up there in case there was anyone who had the forward, uh, the forward spawn still coming up from the subway. I'm assuming that's what the wall was there. Either that or just to cut off a possible route of retreat. I think that's what it was to uh, guarantee... Um, some eliminations there. Brando ends up going down from a railgun oh. shot. Railguns do be railing. All right, this looks like a dead Zarya if I ever seen one. Preston ends up getting killed in the uh, the front line there. So the tanks actually take the fight to the back lines, interesting enough. Sunwolf coming in, uh, trading in the middle of the fight here. Yeah, I got a support for the DPS. I don't know. Could be worth. Suzu Ooh. comes out for a second, but it looks like this might not be the fight. I think the barbs probably back off here. Uh, with the they wall do get out, a, a, a trap. Oh, mm. Sojourn very agile, trying to get out of there. Brenda, no cooldowns, ended up getting taken down. I think Brenda probably should have pulled out a little bit there with the Lucio. I don't know if taking the the fight there was the, the move. Looks oh, like uh, Avon we got the Lucio out though. Uh, I think maybe Lucio was going back too to help uh, ferry those who were from spawn. Barbara waiting, giving a little bit of time here, getting ready for the beat. Speed him out. Let's get this fight going. Ooh, that was a, uh, so they're committing more ultimates to this. They're an even trade so far. Lots of brawling happening here. Yeah. Second trap that, uh, went through that fight. That Junkrat actually getting an unusual amount of value out of the, uh, the traps placed in this fight. Omega, that is. The Barton end up coming out on top. Had to burn some ultimates there. Though it looks like, um... Looks like they're ready to just push forward and still fight. holding on to their, uh, their ultimates here. They did not use Rush or, um... Sojourn's ultimate. What else are we going to see out of Barbara in here? Oh, window, nice here to make this fight a lot easier. Hopefully using Powered it. Up fire strike. Alec Weedrick coming around the corner. He's looking for where their team is. He says, oh, they're all right here. Why don't you all shatter. sit down? I love that use of that ultimate. I mean, Avon's using their ults now, but they're just they're just panicking. They're just trying. You know, they threw out two ults there, but it was too late. Barbara had already used its ultimates to affect the game moving forward instead of just reactively. Alec does end up going down there at the very end, but it was all worth it. It was a valiant play. Uh, Barbadian ends up getting the cap here rather quickly, too. Sunwolf in position. I don't think they saw him go up there. He's got the Blossom. Let's 
see if they can do some math here. Uh, we don't see a full five from Barberton. Skirmishing around this corner. Oh, this is going to be a big one. Position. Hitting Q uh, is good. The lamp comes out just a little bit too late. And it looks like Barberton is pushing W and punishing. Ooh, some very low health target tip here for Barberton. Huge finishes. Excellent punish. Now, Avon does have a lot of ults here, so Barberton needs to be careful. But we have the Lucio ult to hopefully counterplay this here. Any big ults that come out from Avon? We're just going to sit and look at them. Tire coming out. Tire gets, gets shot down. Beat comes out to uh, preemptively stop anything else. Yep, Sunwolf saw it coming. He plays Graviton it. eventually Ooh. does come out, but the lamp to protect. Losing the uh, the Lucio there. Big Shatter. Alec built Excellent that up quick. Plays. He's been playing super aggressive uh, on the Reinhardt here, and King's Row is a very big favorite for Reinhardt players. Lots of close corridors to get nice big swings onto the uh, enemy team. I like that. That was, that was really, really solid offense. Now, Barberton usually has a pretty strong defense here. Um, we'll see. I, they usually know what heroes to play on the D here. Um, let's take a look at what that setup's going to be looking like here in a moment. Uh, they've got a pretty good chunk of time to play with also, so feeling pretty good about that. We'll see how the uh, defense holds. Certain heroes that uh, are a little bit more lackluster in Overwatch 2 still really shine on this map, I feel like. Because of this, like you said, the closeness of the corridors, it's much less open space than what we see in the map's design for Overwatch 2. Right, and I would agree with that. It's just the general direction of the map design for uh, Overwatch 2 has lent itself more towards um, gunplay and, and like individual skill matchups rather than like positioning or um, team play. Yeah. Hero. Uh, I, I was going to say like hero specifics. Like Reinhardt really struggles on a lot of the vertical mobility maps. Um, and a lot of the wide open spaces that we see nowadays because he doesn't have that second tank backing up up. But here on King's Row, it, it's it's an ultimate farm. He can just swing straight into the whole enemy team because where are they going to really go? Um, you can counter rotate pretty much anywhere. Same thing with the May here, you know, it just lends you so much more than what you see on some of those other maps, I feel like. A Roadhog on offense here from Avon. This is a very interesting pick. Let's see how it works out for him. Well, I know that Barberton, uh, if there's one hero Barberton doesn't like playing against, it's, it's Roadhogs. See how they stand up to Avon's Roadhog. C-Track patiently around that corner. Spamming at the shield, looking for a hook, perhaps. Snipes coming out. No picks yet. Just Probably trading fire. This patiently. Avon uh, patiently as well. Sunwolf does end up getting the Sojourn there. No, that's the other pick around. Sojourn Ooh. got him. You're Not reading them colors there. wrong. I am a little bit colorblind. And <laughs> Barbara drops a second player. Another pick from the Sojourn. They're just walking in on them here, and Barbin. No real way to shut this down after they, they yeah. lose the one. Dominus, unfortunately. Barbin's very smartly not feeding anymore. Um, coming back on quick here is to have a re engage. Probably not on the point itself, though. They're like, all right, we took the L, we don't want to feed any more ult charge. Avon, uh, interesting enough, not going for additional. Ooh! Ooh too soon. Oh, big! A huge matrix. matrix yeah, that was huge. I think Sojourn saw their life flash before their eyes in that moment. We see the May as well. They're trying to use some walls and things similar to Barton. They're punishing this hog back here. He's low. He does end up getting out through the uh, the alternate route there. Uh, although... Asteria gets picked by the Zen. Oh, Zen getting picks on all the supports. Are we going to have to back out here? They don't have any heals. Diva trapped behind the ice wall. Going to be the baby. Yep. Barton needs to set up and use some ults for this next fight. I think Brendo's could be used to perhaps... Uh, you know, as they're coming down that long corridor, maybe. Hard to say. Absolutely. Um, they gotta get past this get hog first, guns. though. You know, he can't just get... If he just gets hooked here, he's dead. Playing with fire here, right around this corner. Avon not really trying to push it, just trying to get cart time. Sunwolf and both DPSs from Barberton, actually, uh, taking the high ground here. Ooh. Oh, well, the Matrix is out, and it keeps him alive again. Them, but there's uh, hardly any DM left for uh, D.Va there. And out comes the, uh, the uh, whole hog. Clearing a lot of uh, space for cart here. Pick against the uh, Sojourn from uh, Sunwolf there. But fighting in this... Oh, ooh, a couple alts coming out now on the side of Avon. Barbin's trying to get some finishes, but there's just... With the Suzu, with the heals, they're just not able to get it. And there's picks coming back against them. Looks like uh, they just got surrounded. They're getting hit from all sides here, Barbin is. Avon taking space in a perfect concave around them. Excellent hook to start cleaning things up, and only uh, D.Va remains. Looks like Alex is trying to buy a bit of time on card here. Brings a bomb out. 
Doesn't end up getting All the one. Suzu, that's why. That, they were Suzu'd up. Smart play from Avon. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he was thinking, hey, they have no shields, but Suzu is the best shield. And now Avon's got f over five minutes left for this push here. Barbara was feeling confident with that Blitz offense, but, I mean, Avon's, Avon's showing them up right now. Absolutely. Quick roll through here. Do we feel like it's more Avon's uh, play, or is Barbara making mistakes in these fights? What do we see in this? It's hard to say. I think they're going about how to play against the Hog a little bit wrong here. And, and oh, they do end up losing their Zenyatta here. Nice. Immediately ult. into an ultimate. There we go. Sunwolf with a huge counterplay here. Getting that first pick, spending the entire time in the, uh, the Wraith form, waiting for his team to bail him out so he could uh, use his ultimate as soon as he got it. Avon waiting to regroup here, it looks like. Barbin trying to decide where they want to hold. Hopefully playing these corners. We see uh, Brendo on the... Uh, a uh, not Ash. <laughs> on the... Uh... Oh, what's her name? It Ash. is Ash. It is I was right. Okay, I was thinking, I was like, who are they? Rush coming out here from Barberton, uh, but ends up getting shut down by the Blizzard. Smart play. That being said, though, oh, nice Suzu keeping the Kiriko alive. Is he going to live and through this? Oh, he does eventually go down. I mean, he did, but it took them so long to kill him. They were able to build so much up, and then they throw another ultimate out just to deal with Sleepless here? Just a little old Sleepless? Bob comes out. Bob MVP. Going to hold cart while the team regroups. Oh, Bob, ooh. Ooh, Bob almost off edge there, but looks like he's still getting some work done. At least keeping the, the supports and things back. Ooh. Ooh, oh, so Managed to survive, bailed out by the nano boost here. Sojourn popped ult from on top there, uh, getting contested and eventually shot out of uh, the space there. Yeah, Didn't Barbara that, took that space. They say, you're not going to ult up here. Not today. Wall giving some cover. They break the barrier down pretty quickly, though. Sleep on Ooh, the May finish. Uh, kill there. Good. Nice play from the Ana. This hog should Trying die here. And he... he Oh, oh, over the edge. Huge smart play there from their hog. Faking out the uh, the dive into the pit there, but actually just hooking the, uh, the Zarya. Yeah, that was big. That was, I, I remember the players saying, oh, he got me. They, they, were, they, were, they were all so impressed with that play. So he, he totally deserved that. Uh, that, was, that was huge. Ooh, Ooh, playing with fire. And looking in the burnt. window. Who's at the window? It's Zen. That's a nice little angle right there. Excellent. Oh, here a bomb. Hits, but nice. This doesn't block tire. No. Too much damage. Nice from Sunwolf dropping that down there. They thought they were safe, but there was a Sunwolf there all along. Avon's done and getting two picks out of that engage. Going for that Zen. Picked. It's just two up for Avon now. Slowly starting to get a regroup. Barbara. Alec in deep says, no, you, do, you don't get to go back to spawn unless you die. Give me your ultimate charge. Yeah, absolutely. I also think that... um. Bar's going to have a bit of trouble this next fight, though, because look at the ult economy here. That is true. They do have Whole Hog and another Rush. That was a lot of ultimate generation from uh, Avon's Kiriko. Um, they don't have Transcendence, though, for a, in a sustained fight. But if they come up on Blizzard in this next fight, which they should, it, Barbara's going to have a hard time holding it. We're going to see a Bob. Oh, Alex up so far. Yeah. And just couldn't get the support. He's been up there a while, too. They put the Bob out here just to say, hey, don't don't advance on us. But looks like Bob's getting bursted down. He did get the pick on the Sojourn, who was going for the high uh -oh. ground at the time. Oh, Sunwolf gets out, using the bombs to move away from that hole in the ground. And they're getting shot picks. down anyway. And then a rush comes in here, uh, pushing it around the corner. I'm oh, another pick. Hook. Can Barberton stop them here? They just, they, it's going to be tough. Hook blocked, but oh, yeah, Kiriko goes no down. Ultimates. Traded yeah, one support the, for uh, one. The Zen, so no transcendence if it was going to be built in this fight here. Please Sunwolf it. throwing out the spam, but nice dynamite. Big purple? Ooh, Lizard to zone. To I don't know if they're going to be able to stop this here. Still burning down Sunwolf some Sunwolf trying to get the bombs out. Just, just finish anyone. Get He's them immortal. off this point. The immortal Junkrat. And then the ball play here coming on to last as well. To oh, really Junk goes down. Oh, is he going to see nine? Oh, the whole oh. hog trying to shove him off point, but he's still barely touching. Nice purple hog. Oh, but then he suzu'd right off immediately, unfortunately. And he goes down. Z track not giving up this point. It's like, you've killed some of my friends here, but I still won it. Yeah, that Slowly tank's and pretty off. solid. Cheesy ends up going down, but Barberton does out. eventually get the uh, the rush there. Still one support on there, but they're clear. They're saying, let the Lucy stay, oh. just don't let him see nine. 
They get the finish. Anyone down. else able to touch? 20 seconds for Avon to get a touch here. Oh, going for the Kiriko here. They have to force, force out Suzu, Suzu out on themselves. Does the Sojourn end up making it back in time? Coming around the corner. I don't think Barbara's going to let him. Uh oh. There's no way. Mission impossible. Same thing. Oh, they got a ball out now. But they're down three. It's only ball in point here now. Looks like Brendo put out Bob to do a bit of work to keep anyone else from coming as backup. Now they're just finishing the ball off. Oh, Ooh, knocked him the nice. other way. Alec Wietrich with the reverse boop off the ball. Excellent play by Barberton. It was a last ditch attempt there. It was a very quick roll for uh, Avon at the start there, but their uh, push to the end uh, sputtered out with fight after fight. Yeah, I think that Barberton figured out how to play against the Hog. And I think big thing that we're seeing out of Barberton, which is something that we've been trying to drill into the players all season, is don't just try to do the same thing you've been doing that's not working, but better. Swap up your heroes. Do something different. Figure out how to play against what you're doing. Don't play into them. Play around them. Play, play your game, not theirs. Absolutely. And I also would have liked to have seen uh, Avon maybe switch it up there for the last contest because they were content in playing what they had played for the entire map and it ended up costing them. Yeah, they could have swapped it up and maybe it would have shaken Barberton a bit, but instead Barberton holds strong. Let's see if they can hold strong through a third map and we can finish this series out or if we're going to have to go for a few more games. We'll join you momentarily. All right, we're going to see what happens on this next map here. It might be our last one. We might have to go to a couple extra. Barberton's come out strong for the first two. We'll see what kind of goes from there, though. What are we looking at here? Barberton on defense first round, it looks like. Is that correct? Yes. Yep, and it looks like uh, Avon's going to go with the meta heroes here, with the, uh, the Sombra and the Genji. Yeah, Sombra's a pretty popular pick. Having a little groove before their offense. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Let's see where Barberton is setting up at. It looks like they're kind of meandering about, taking this high ground here in Maine. Taking a little bit of an uh, aggressive angle here, uh, poking into their spawn. Yeah, I mean, this first corner, no reason to hold that far back. You're just going to let them take all that free space, so you may as well at least play the corner. Slowly backing out, giving them a little bit of uh, time here. Uh, Yeet playing on the Zen Yada. Um, First time we've seen that from Barberton so far this series. Yeah, I know that they wanted to try the Zen out a little bit. They fought the Sombra out, but unable to punish here. Oh, he's going in, uh, forcing up the lamp. Oh, Yi goes down, revealing the weakness of the Zen, which is they're just so soft. That is true. Got to play perfect positioning, especially against a hard dive here like um, Winston. That Interesting that the monkey ends up... Um, living and stuffing uh, mm -hmm. the soldier there. Yeah, they got him in the... the I think it was a little bit of... Maybe Sleepless getting the Sombra, interestingly enough, and, and buying enough time for you to switch over to the Lucio to rejoin the fight. It is a three, a 4v4 here. Oh, huge purple um, from Avon. Nice, the lamp came down just in case there. All right. Oh, the uh, monkey just barely getting out there, uh, trying to get as much ultimate charge as he can, lasering uh, four targets there. And you can see it's already up to 90%. Uh, nice picks by Brendo and Sunwolf. DPS ooh. making it work for Barberton here. Walking in ends up not mattering. They know there's a Sombra left somewhere, but I don't know if they care. Let's see if Cheesy's going to make a play here, waiting for his team. Avon's starting to regroup here to, to get into the fight. Cheesy trying to find a good target. Sleepus has actually slept here. Well, maybe they're just going to get back. Oh, no, they go for the hack. hack. Oh, the translocate does not go off. Grab out from Barberton. Suzu down. A lot of alts committed from Avon just to get this uh, fight here, and I think that that might be a little too little too late here. Very interesting. Oh, he's going to get him off? Dash Brendo is back on. Says, no, not today. You try once. Nope. Try again. Nope. I'm not going off that clip. Y yeah, I mean, I don't know. Can you even get Brendo off the map? I don't think it's possible. Wall hack. He's on Sojourn. He's looking for another play. Gets a hat. Ooh, the uh, the Man. translocator uh, was thrown into the field there. Need to get that on a, a pack somewhere so that they can translocate out of the fight. Maybe they thought they had it down and Barbara destroyed it, and they hadn't noticed. Maybe I don't know. That's possible. That that was definitely a strange play from the Sombra there. I think they expected to translocate in that moment, so something must have gone wrong. They do end up switching off to Sojourn now, getting a very quick 50% ult charge. Monkey in the back line. Suza comes down. A little Actually early there. Going out there. Um, lamps traded. 
beats forced out. It ends up looking Z, Z track is still absolutely her terrorizing. Yeah, they need to here. prioritize that Kiriko there. Let the let the monkey run around for a second. He was definitely Ooh, Sunwolf just barely Ooh. doesn't get out there. Does trade against the um the, the uh Stereo the Sojourn. trying to live, but I just don't think that's that's not in the cards right there. Barb is gonna have to uh, decide how they want to take this next fight. Looks like they're wisely using cover here. I believe there's a little bit of a window where you can can you shoot through any of those? Uh maybe you could cl yeah, you probably could if you were re mm. It'd be, it'd be tough. Barbarin resetting here. Monkey goes up, but uh, not get, walks it off. Not punished by Barbarin there. No way to disable them. Sleepless gets Ooh, a nice finish on the Ana. Oh. Suzu out to keep the monkey up. Genji has the high ground there, but so what? He needs to get in someone's face. Ah, he got an Alex face there, helping him get the finish with the Sojourn. Primal comes out again, doing some pretty good juggles on the DPS of Barberton back there, uh, making this fight a little bit awkward. Omega, it looks like he might go down Oh, nice lamp from afar. And with the window here, they should be able to put pressure through this window, keep the heels up, etc. Genji Some comes blade. in with the ult. No defensive ultimates here. Uh, uh, Bard just walks away from him. Interesting. Uh, not catching anyone with the blade, although um, Brendo does go down from the, uh, the monkey eventually. Grab to grab two, finish him off. And it looks Very like nice. the fight is going to be shut down. Only yeah. getting about 86 and a half meters there for Avon. Not very far, but we'll see. Uh, Avon might be able to put up a, st a sturdy defense here. We don't know yet uh, what that's going to look like. Um, Barton managed to smash through the last time they had defense on King's Row pretty easily. So maybe this is a more offensive team, or maybe we just caught them in a bad moment there. So we'll have to see what this looks like. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, hero picks that are going to come out here in a few seconds. They're still in the hero selection, so that'll be coming up here shortly. Um, I think what Avon would need to do to really have that uh, strong offense like they did on King's Row to roll through would be to play around their tank um, a, a, quite a bit more because he's able to create a lot of space, and we've seen him time after time making huge plays on the Barberton, tossing around the whole team. I feel like... You know, Barberton, or rather Avon, probably should have gone maybe with a different DPS. A little bit of piano play here. Oh, Barberton having a good time getting ready for the, la the what could be the last round. That's beautiful. I think, uh, I think Barberton's feeling pretty good right now. Well, let's get ready for the match now, after that wonderful musical interlude sponsored by Brendo. It'll be here all night, folks. Um, being held by... I guess they just oh. want to give Barberton free space. I think they realized maybe, I think their tank may have told them, hey guys, we should maybe be a little further up. They have a Bastion on the defense Huge here. Huge jump by the Monkey, three diving over to the uh, high ground here behind uh, Avon. Yeah, totally neat rollout line. here, really going for those high ground positions. They're just going into the back line here, trying to get some kills. Nice, nice. It's it's fine. They do end up getting uh, three picks here right off the bat. That was a huge play from Barberton. I think they knew that they wouldn't expect it, and they they tried something, and it, it paid Four off picks. big. It's only uh, the Mercy and the Reinhardt now left alive here. They end up do getting the uh, the Mercy, and the Reinhardt goes down. That was a very quick uh, play by Barberton right over the top there. I love that coordination. I wish they could have prioritized targets a bit more once they got over. I think they might have each gone for a different target, but I think it played out just fine as seen. Oh, there's the Zen just standing there. Oh, oh, unfortunate. He wants to try and touch, but he doesn't get to. The, oh, ball the ball's doesn't there. there. But they're down three already. Yeah, the they're just here. staggering themselves in. They're all panicking, trying to touch. And eventually he goes down. That was a very quick win from Barberton. I guess the Medi Megalovania uh, interlude there was all they needed to really close out this series. What do you think? Uh, I think that's exactly what they needed because Barberton came out like a final boss in this stage for Avon. Uh, dashing their hopes of probably making it to the uh, playoff for the regional finals and things here. I believe if Barberton can win its next two matches, they will play against uh, Akron Stem to see who will take the uh, one of the coveted two slots from the Northeast region to go to finals. Um, now we've got two more matches that we'll have to be putting out before then, but uh, we see the shadow of Akron still looming over Barberton. Will they be able to overcome their most uh, challenging rival, we will see uh, in a little bit, provided that they can make it through their next two opponents as well. Thank you for joining us. Any closing thoughts? 
No, just an awesome series between two good schools here. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. We will see you soon.